In this video, you'll learn about how to build your very own agent on AMD Developer Cloud. Your agent will be able to use custom tools as well as MCP servers, perhaps to help you book your next trip with an Airbnb MCP server. So let's dive right in. So first you can start by going to devcloud.amd.com. Uh, there you can spin up a GPU droplet and that'll spin up some MI300 GPUs for you in the back. Next, you should pick VLLM Quick Start Package. Uh, that will actually get you started on VLLM inference, uh, ready to go. Finally, add or select your SSH keys uh, and then click Create. Give the droplet a few moments to uh, warm up and get started. Once you see connection details, you're, you're good to go. Copy your notebook's IP address, public IP address, uh, and then you can visit it. You can SSH in. Um, you can also see that it's guarded by a passkey. Um, so you can get the passkey from the web console. Go back to the DevCloud console to open up the web console and grab that uh, private token. Uh, return to the Jupyter notebook and put that token in, and then uh, you're ready and all set to go. All right, let's check out our GPU. Open up the terminal and run Rockham SMI, and there you can see the GPU humming along, um, and that's our MI300X GPU. So now we can actually step through the actual notebook. Um, so first we have to start our VLLM server, so just run this command right here. Um, and while that's starting, you can actually take a look at GPU utilization to see that it's actually being used, um, and you'll see this usage increase as the model gets loaded. Once VLLM has started, uh, you can actually run a test command uh, to see that everything is working. Um, so to test it, uh, just run this curl command. And great, we can see that this open source Quen 30B model is actually running. All right, now we can get started with building out uh, this agent and giving it tools. Uh, so first, we can use Pydantic to make an OpenAI compatible endpoint um, and then create an agent instance. We can also define an async agent function to help us test it. So let's try an example. Very nice. Um, and the capital of France is, in fact, Paris. So the model is running on VLLM uh, correctly. OK, so LLMs really rely on their training data and what they've seen in the past. Uh, that means that you know it might not know about current events or current facts that it hasn't seen uh, because that wasn't in its previous training data. Uh, and that includes like today's date. So uh, if you ask the model you know, what today's date is, uh, it might respond with a hallucination or a guardrail such as, sorry, I, I can't give you that information. So what can we do here? Uh, we can actually create a tool for the model to use to actually figure out what today's date is. And that's exactly what we'll start off by doing. So we can create a function um, to define today's date. Um, and we just need to tell the agent, or this model, about this new time tool. Um, and it has this available to use um, to then return today's date, call that tool, use that tool um, to return, in fact, today's date. And voila, now the model actually has access to today's date and can answer this question. So that was using a custom tool that, that you built just there. Um, but there is actually a whole library, a collection of MCP, or Model Context Protocol, servers that you can use to actually leverage tools like this one. Um, and so you can actually use an MCP time server uh, to do this instead. And what's really great about MCP servers is that there's a huge community of people building these out so that you can share across the community. So let's replace our custom function with an MCP server. For this server, we just need to import it. We need to specify our time zone. Um, and then we can try our, out our question again. And ta-da, it works uh, just the same and gets the date today. OK, so that was something super simple. Let's move on to something a bit more complex, um, a more complex MCP server. Um, what about one to help you plan your next trip and get some Airbnbs for, for that trip? So now we just need to install a few more dependencies. Now update our agent with this new tool, this new server um, for Airbnb search. So it actually is exposed to it and has access to it. And now we can actually just search you know, um, a place to stay in Vancouver for next Sunday for three nights for two adults. This takes a little bit longer now that it has to make a call out to Airbnb to look at all those options and search for it. Um, but nice, it's actually able to, act, to get all those options for us. And there's a handy link to go back to Airbnb and see those options. Now go try this for yourself at the AMD Developer Cloud. And I'm really excited to see what cool agents you built. 
feel free to go request some free credits to get started and um, have fun.